Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we got a very nice build for you guys. We're working on a Porsche GT2 RS. Unfortunately, the car took a nasty hit to the driver's side, but luckily for them, the car is here at LNC. So we're gonna work our magic and get the car looking better than you. Vlad got started on the car. He tore everything apart. He repaired the rear quarter and the door, and I think we're just about to primer it. So let's go inside and take a look and see where we're at. Body work on the GT2 RS is finished, so we're ready to primer it. Jose is gonna do his magic, he's gonna mask it up, prep it for primer, and then we'll be ready to prep and paint. So, getting closer to the finish line. Finally that time. Another exciting project. I think that's the best moment where the car goes into a paint department. At least for me, I get a very happy, joyful paint. Because your work is done. Yeah. Now it's and then to put together it's a piece of cake. Putting together is the fun part. Lego, Lego puzzle. That's when you know you're done. Then it's gonna be in my department. So we'll paint the whole side and then we'll do a separate paint job for the bumper. That's it, right? Just yep. the two two bumpers and the whole side. Spoiler, the little deck that's it. Cards red paint job, so Beautiful solid red color. If I was gonna buy a Porsche, it'd be a red one. You had one. I did have one. It was a it was an old one. 997, but same color, red. Guards red, yeah. 997. We did a. We need to pop a picture. We did a GT3 conversion, conversion on it. A bunch of those 99. But yeah, I remember you bought that one. 997.1. It was a Carrera S. It was a Porsche. Porsche we did for a customer. Uh, so I had a Carrera, and then we had a Carrera 4S. Same guards red. We did the GT3 conversion on both of them. At the same time, you had the 99... Seven. Uh, 991. You had the 991 red one. I had the 997. Yeah. And then Dimitri, Dimitri had the red Ferrari. So we were rowing in the three red... We had big banners on the windshield. Yep. So we'll pop a picture for them so they can check it out. So we would... That was way before YouTube. We did some fun builds, the whole family. We were rolling on the weekends in all red cars with the big LNC banners on the windshield, so... And that was before kids. <laughs> True that, that was before we all had kids. We were free on the weekends. Now we just work. And then it's family time. So here's the bumper. Brand new just came in today. We've been waiting for this for a very long time. We're from Europe, huh? Yes, from Germany. From Germany, straight from the source. Three months we had to wait for those suckers. And that's for the rear. Yeah. But saved a lot of money compared to the new air load. So yeah, this thing is insane. Even the hinges are carbon fiber. Look at that. Wow. It has everything carbon fiber. It's lighter by a thousand uh, pounds than the regular turbo as well. Carbon fiber hinges, everything. Every panel, every molding, it's all carbon fiber. That's nuts. The fender, completely carbon fiber. The hood. A big difference between the turbo and then GT2 RS. We are back on the Porsche. We got it primered once and we blocked it out some more. We're gonna have to duplicate that uh, texture coating. It's a rock chip protector, pretty thick and it goes all the way around. And around the wheel arch as well. So I'm gonna have Vlad take the wheel off. We're gonna lift the car up. We're gonna do a coat of primer and then apply the texture. We're gonna let that dry for the weekend and then we're gonna do a, another coat of primer over everything, so. And we'll slowly start prepping, blocking. I'm gonna gem the fender. We're gonna install the fender, paint the door, quarter, fender all together on the car, so.
This is my chip protector ap applicator gun. Pretty much gonna insert it into this. This is a uh, underbody coating and stone chip protector. It's a little better than the spray can one, so we're gonna shoot it out of this gun. We're gonna prep the fender and jam it so we can install it on the car. We're gonna mask this carbon fiber off, that way we don't have any overspray on it. Could mask this as well, because this stays gray, not silver. We come look at this side. You can see that this part stays carbon fiber and this part stays just a factory gray. So we have to duplicate that on the new used fender. Okay, so while I was jamming the GT2 RS fender, I kind of had a change of plans. I started spraying all my jams and a lot of overspray was getting on the fender and I was like, the fender's pretty much painted, let me add some more paint. This fender's gonna look like factory because I taped everything up inside. I'm gonna actually spray the entire inner fender as well because the factory one it was all silver inside the used fender that we got and it was cleared so i'm gonna duplicate it so then it's that much harder to tell that it was ever replaced or worked on so we try and imitate the factory oem finish i did one so i'm gonna do one more coat and then i'll do my two coats of clear so yeah little change of plans that way i'll just spray the order and the door on the Porsche separate. Either way, it's gonna come out looking good, so that's what we're doing. We're ready to start prepping the GT2 RS. Today I'm gonna spray the quarter panel and the door.
using the booth prep cleaned ready to go we need to take the wheel off because uh the quarter kind of wraps around and it's all primered inside so i'm gonna take the wheel off so i have access from inside It's a solid red, guards red, 84A is the paint coat. Paint it, seal it, base it, clear it. Quick and easy. I love solid colors, especially red. You can just see the paint layout perfectly, so let's get it done. sealer is dry I'm ready for my base coat so I'm just gonna remove this masking paper I put the paper here just to not get overspray on the pillar since sealer is not needed there and then there's a little folded tape there I don't want the sealer going inside there as well I tried a new trick I masked up the, the gap with the fine line tape Sewer is heavier than base coat, so it goes deeper into the crevice. So the parts where I have the tape folded over inside the jam, I put tape, fine line tape. That way, sewer doesn't get through. Somebody posted somewhere that that's what they do to help with the sewer prop issue. And then you just take it off, so. Ooh, that ripped. Hopefully this one doesn't rip, I have to be careful. Worked pretty good. Can't complain. So we're looking pretty good. Let's go in the mixing room and get my base coat going. So I always write down my color code. I wrote it down a while ago. GT2RS 84A, 84A, Porsche Guards Red. And then there was a uh, my timer for the sealer. I always set a timer to make sure I wait enough time. And then there was a darker 18. Always write down your colors. dry so we're ready for clear I got it all mixed up and ready to go so let's do it wish me luck
it's the next day the GT2 RS is dry ready to go looking slick beautiful paint job let's unmask it get the car out but first let's take a quick look and see how everything turned out guys for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and comment below also if you like this kind of content don't forget to subscribe stay tuned for part two in part two we're gonna paint the bumpers the deck lid put everything together wash and detail the car get it ready and then we'll do a final reveal that is gonna be it for today I'll see you guys on the next one